What's going on everyone? Welcome to the first build video of the Troopy. Yeah. Um, putting in a winch. This is Sam's old winch that he's selling to me because I need a winch. Yeah. Uh, what is it? It's a... Uh, it's... Well, it's second hand. It's a, just a Super Santa Grande. Yeah, nothing special, but it'll get you out of some sticky situations, which is all you can ask for it really. So we're just going to throw that one in. Um, it was in Sam's car. He was keeping it to put a rear winch in his car, but he's thinking that it's not really going to happen anymore. I just can't be bothered really. Yeah, true. <laughs> I don't have time. Yeah, so we're going to throw it in my car because this weekend we're heading away up to the high country and probably a good idea if my car actually has a winch so I can get myself out of things and yeah we're gonna try to do this as fast as possible it's gonna be night time so. I want to build a bike rack yeah Sam wants to build a bike rack <laughs> on the back of his car but yeah anyway I suppose we'll just get stuck right into it so the first step for putting this in is to actually put it where it's gonna sit in the bull bar so then you can run all the wires and things afterwards that is correct um, pretty pretty simple this shouldn't be too hard shouldn't be but anything can happen it always sucks because they're just heavy. Yeah. On the bull bar that came with this car, you can't actually drop it in from the top because there's a plate there. So now we've got to push it up from the bottom, which makes it extra difficult for no apparent reason, really. Well, I was thinking that might be harder, but now I'm thinking that might be easier because I'll just be able to hold it there and you can just bolt it up. Yeah, true. Yeah, so if you've never put a winch in before, there's a little square nut that goes in there and then the bolt goes through that into the nut. And that bolts it. Bar. Yeah, pretty simple technology. Very simple technology. <laughs> the Sam was just telling me that the bolts that they that come with this winch, mainly because it's a cheap winch. Yeah, it's like a three hundred dollar winch. Yeah, the bolts aren't really that good. So in the future, I'm gonna get new bolts, but for now, we're just gonna use the original ones. Yeah. If you're using the original ones, you gotta be very careful that you don't snap them because I snapped them first time I put it in. Yeah. So don't do it with a rattle gun. Actually, I snapped it doing it up by hand. So. Mm. That's super sound quality for you. Yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna use the original ones for now, but we, I'll swap them out later on because I couldn't be bothered heading down to Bunnings to get new bolts since we had these anyway. But hopefully we don't break any. We'll have to go up. Go up. Yeah, uh, to your right. Up a bit. Oh, actually. Oh, actually. I'm gonna bolt it through this. That would have been annoying. Yeah, I do that every time. <laughs> actually, easy doing it from underneath. Yeah? Yeah. Lesson learned. Well, at least that was rather pain free. Yeah. <laughs> That's not bad. So, not done up tight yet because we just wanted to get it in there. Whatever. That was easy. So, we've got the winch bolted in from the back. As you can see, you've got your plugs up here for your um, control box to hook up to. But just quick helpful tip, if you ever put one of these in, your earth cable that earths to the battery from the winch, always have that bolted up before you put it in because as you can see, you can't really get behind there too easy or with a spanner or anything because it's just it's like pretty up against the bull bar. Yeah, you can see up here, you'd yeah, be those struggling ones. to get that in because of the bull bars in the way. Yeah, so if you put it on first, then you just run the wires through up the top or whatever. And yeah. Heaps easier. Works. Test how good the handbrake is. Yours actually works. To an extent. Well, I'd be able to pull mine out of the shed <laughs> on full, so. Yours works heaps better than mine. So we are now up to just mounting the winch box. The previous owner must have mounted it here, we reckon. Um, but we can't be bothered to do that for now. Just behind the bar in here, because we think we'd have to run extra wires or whatever to get it to fit there. But in the long run, it really doesn't matter. This bar, yeah, righto. This bar is not going to stay, so it doesn't really bother me too much. Oh, diesel. Oh, diesel. Loud noises. Diesel loves a good drill. <laughs> Anything. And Axel is like, what is going on? Why are you barking? Watch this. Hold that. Try <laughs> 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 doing up your wheels with him around. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, buddy, how? Oh, no. <laughs> I might be able to go around the back of it. 
You reckon? Probably not. No. Pull your lights off, Adam. God damn it. So now that the car's all cross-eyed, we can fit the box in. Very nice. It's a bit hard to film because small spaces, but... Just imagine a box in the middle of a bull bar and that'll do. <laughs> yeah, you get the gist. It's pretty thick. Yeah, well, she's a thick girl. Designed to take out thick ruse. That one was better. <sighs> it's one. One more to go. That's the holes done. Mm. If anyone wants to buy some sharp drill bits, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> so yeah, we just got the two holes to mount the uh, box. That was the box. Yeah. Then the wires that get run through there, you just connect them up to the winch, connect the winch to the battery, Bing bang boom, you're done. Bunch of happy boys. Bob's your mum's uncle. Wait, brother. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? Well, Jess just thought she'd come and say hello. And now look hello. what she's done. That wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Connor. Bloody hell. Bloody horses. Got a whole paddock down there, the poo in, and your poo's right here. That's what he thinks he is. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, as you can see up here, the winch is actually hitting the chassis of the car. Yes, but it'll be fine. Still gonna send it. <laughs> so right now we're just up to the stage of just putting these wires onto the old winch hose. Yeah. Then um, onto the terminals. Yeah. And then all we gotta do is connect the main or the other longer ones. They just run to the um to the battery. Yeah. And then she'll should be just, right. Should just work. Should pull you up hills when you get stuck. Yeah. Pull the old bus up a hill. So as you can see, we've run the wires up. We just ran them up through. I don't even know if you guys can see. Through the engine bay of the car. Yeah, through the engine bay. So pretty much, we connected up to the battery. Should work. And it'll work. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Does it make noise? No. <laughs> it doesn't make noise. Hang on. Give me a sec. <laughs> Give me a sec. It'll work. Oh yeah, the old twist of the fuse. <laughs> oh, Shit. damn. Something's loose. Hey! Oh. oh no. Mad. Mad. That's bloody living. Installed. Very nice. Now we pretty much just make it uncross eyed. Neaten up the wires a neaten little up, bit. Yeah, neaten up this over there. And, and what did you say? You're Bob, Bob's your mother's sister? Yeah, Bob's your mum's uncle. <laughs> <laughs> but really, time is it now? That only took like an hour? An hour. Yeah, about an hour. Helps the Sam knows what he's doing. Sometimes. I wouldn't say I fully know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've just got a general idea. Yeah, but he has pulled this specific winch in and out a couple of times, so it's pretty familiar to him. So, winch is in, lights back in the right spot. Just needed up the wiring a little bit, just a little. So we got that one there, because Sam says this fuse gets loose a lot, so you have to be able to access it. But yeah, pretty simple. There's not really much to them. So yeah, that's the first mod on the Troopy well, that I've shown on video. I've done some little things, but they're not too too necessary. What have we got going on over here, Sam? Oh, just bodging together a bit of a bike rack. Bit of a bike rack. Oh. So what he's doing is he found out that his bike sits perfectly in his tailgate. Yeah, well, I can't take it when we got the tent on. Which yeah. is the problem, because I want to take it everywhere. But yeah, we're going to a spot this weekend that's got some good downhill tracks in it. So I want to take the bike along and spend a day there or something riding. So Yeah, so it just sits like that, and then he's just drilled a few holes, and then he can run some ratchet straps around, and it sits there pretty solidly. Very cool. As easy as that. Yeah. Pretty solid. It looks like it's moving a lot, but the actual tray's moving with it. So. Yeah, and this thing's pretty solid too. Like, Looks go good. All right. So that is going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for the high country trip. We, it's Tuesday today, so we're, I'm leaving Friday. Sam's leaving Saturday um, for the long weekend. So that's going to be awesome. 
Hopefully the fires aren't too bad by then, but it should be alright, I think. The whole of Victoria's on fire at the moment. Yeah, so. it's no good. Um, just over the, that way is Mount Donna, and that was on fire tonight. Doesn't look too bad at the moment, though. There's no glow, so that's good. But yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Catch you guys there. Cup of coffee on the car floor.